My name is Brent Siebenhaller and I'm with the brand rep in North America for Felix in the motion picture area. Well, let's clear one thing up. So yeah. you pronounce this how? <laughs> we don't have any bias in how you say it, but we say Felix in our, in our, in, internally. But Felix, Felix, yeah, we don't hold anything against anybody. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary. The parent company has over 30 years in telecoms and, and things like that. Felix is just like a, a part of a much larger company. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have the, the resources and the availability. It's like the technology, obviously we've seen the, the transition of technology in the motion picture industry and how fast it's changed. And even, you know, you think how much the cameras changed in such a rapid time. The lighting has changed almost as fast, uh, if not faster. And the subtleties and the nuances that are required by uh, gaffers and cinematographers is pretty incredible. And so having this larger company where they can, they can take engineers from a whole other market and then pull them into specialty product, projects and um, solve some problems that were hard to solve and then, and then, and then go back to their you know, normal job. I view it as similar as like the Tesla people are working with SpaceX and SpaceX, you know, on that, on that kind of level, these, these engineers are brilliant and, they're, and they are solving some, some interesting problems. And, some of those are, are in this light we're going to talk about. Felix kind of made a move to work directly with Hollywood, so larger shows. Can you talk to that a little bit? We realized that the extra efforts that our optics team, our engineering team put into fixtures was being noticed primarily by the high-end gaffers, the high-end cinematographers. Those subtleties make a difference for them. Where, you know, someone who's, who's newer to the, this thing is, it's, it's taking them, it takes years to kind of notice the subtleties, start learning them, get the eye per se, right? Putting that effort in and then also learning from them and what they actually needed was really critical to the success of Felix. And being that extra level of engineering, the products cost a little bit more. There's no doubt about that. We know, we understand that. We knew that on the higher in Hollywood, the cost is less of an issue, right? And so then you can introduce the product and then it starts to become where more and more people are able to see it, use it, understand those subtleties. And then, it, then it's, you know, it's spreading quite rapidly into all levels of the motion picture industry, which is fun. I think that's an important aspect as you look at a unit that seems like every other brand out there, but it's more purpose-based and uh, or specific. And um, so let's get into it. What do you got here for us? Sure. So we launched the G3 Leco or the G3 Color Lumen Radio Leco, if you want to kind of go long, longer. But we just call it the G3. It's purpose-built Leco. It's a 90-watt fixture. It's hard to even judge the 90 watts because of the light output that's coming out of it is pretty amazing and the quality of that light. So the color mixing, the crispness of it really is a um, purpose-built light. There's a lot of people even that we've heard that said it wasn't even possible to make a light this sharp that's a full color LED. Again, the engineering team and their brilliance, they did some very special stuff to this light to make it happen. What you get is crisp shortcuts with no chromatic aberrations. Even as you rotate the colors, it's really clean. The in focus and out of focus is still quite beautiful. It's, it's actually quite amazing, those subtleties. Lumen radio being built into it is another nice, for such a small fixture, being able to put this thing in at, at, right now it's running on a battery. Having it on a battery and on lumen radio, you can hide it someplace really quickly or bring it into a set really quickly and immediately you're shooting. I had a cinematographer I visited on, on a set and uh, visited the DIT tent, introduced, introduced to him, and he goes, oh, my favorite lights are here. And he walked out and he had not the G3, but the P3 with a Fresnel on it and the P3 with a softbox. And he's like, these are my favorite lights. I'm like, why are these your favorite lights? He's like, well, they're on a battery and they had a antenna on them and you could walk them in. Well, we've removed the need for this antenna and, um, and now it's built in. And so having that battery option is pretty great. So even with the Leco now, I can imagine that'll be his third light on the on the side they're ready to go. I'm noticing one thing here, you have a, a dongle uh, for 5-pin DMX, yeah. that's no longer necessary? Well, you have wireless, but uh, we find that there's a lot of sets that still hardline in to have, like, eliminate any worry. If, you, if it's gonna be in the set for a long time, but when it's on a stand or something like that and you can bring it in, you can just have it on the wireless. Having both is, I think, still very critical. This is the 36 degree lens on it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's quite sharp. Um, there is a nice 
you know, cutting features. So even one of the things that uh, is nice about this is the shutters, these two side shutters are perfectly on the same plane. So when I push them in, they're immediately sharp and I can get a crisp, sharp line, which is pretty fantastic. The other thing that's really cool about this is we have this rotation feature and allows you to spin this 360 degrees um, and, and give you all the subtleties and, and, and subtle changes as you want. Um, so it, nice. It is, it's great. You have an M size uh, gobo holder, uh, iris. We actually have this, um, the iris has a locking mechanism. So you know when you're like going to adjust something and you know, anything and you want, you know, accidentally bump that iris, it's nice to have that where it just locks in place. So that's pretty great too. So just the little subtleties of making this product uh, special is what I think is really important. The last thing that we did, um, just to kind of rear it the back, is we, we unified it with the Q-Series. So that rocker knob allows it to operate and use the same user interface. The P3 was a little bit different in how it interacted. And so making that easier for our users, we had to actually go and redesign the entire thermals of this light. So it is a completely new fixture. Um, it's not just a warmed over P3. It's not a warmed over P3. Completely new fixture. And then we coming out with the Q3, which is the wireless version of the P3 as well. So they have a non-wireless, which will still be available. Um, it's still a go-to light, and the price point is great. Um, but then the P3 will have the wireless and the Fresnel that comes with it. The Q3 will do that. So, so with uh, a Serum X, uh, what does something like this uh, go for? Yeah, so uh, the light and one lens will go for 2000 The full kit in the case will be 3200 Gotcha. So now come with a 19, a 36, iris, global holders, gel frame holder, and the case. And then in 2024, we'll have a 50, probably early 2024. And this wouldn't run off a 14 volt battery, it would have to be 26 volt, is that right? No, it'll run off a 14 volt as well. Ah. Yeah. 14 to 30 is the, um, is the size for it. So yeah, you've got both options. It does have nice. the V mount for the power supply, as well as a, it's a cold shoe V mount for the battery, and then you just run a P tap or D tap cable off of it. One of the major things is our low level dimming just got 10 times better um, and, and what it's capable of doing. And in analog dimming, not PWM dimming, that's extra special and really hard to do. And so um, seeing this dim down is kind of incredible. Like, wow, that's subtle. It's still on, see this, even here, kisses off my hand. Our dimming has always been pretty good, and we put a lot of effort into it, but to make it 10 times better is like pushing the boundaries of science, you know, type of stuff. But, you know, that's where it's like, oh, that engineering team really did something quite special. So um, for us, we're celebrating it, and I think our, our clientele will really enjoy that. Right on. Thanks so much. That's super helpful.